everyone, and welcome back to the Stray Kids Dance Tutorials channel. My name is Gabriel, and today we'll be learning All In by Stray Kids. This is their first full Japanese single, and so we'll be doing the choreography for the chorus of the song following the dance practice as a reference. I did put a poll up on Twitter to see which uh, dance I should teach next in terms of All In versus X, and All In did win, so this is the next tutorial that I'll be doing right now. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial. We'll go, go ahead and start at right before the chorus uh, following Sungmin. And so this is the Japanese speaking part and all the members are in formation and then they're going to hit different poses in a wave that goes throughout the formation. So we're following Sungmin. So Sungmin is going to be standing with his left foot to the side and then right foot pointed forward and then on count three of the wave he's going to raise his hands up and uh, x like this so right arm in front of left arm in an x and then the hands will be in kind of these closed mouths so someone hits here on one two three and then he holds this and then as the speaking voice continues on around beat six and seven then he's going to open his hands uh, twice in kind of a talking motion and this more matches the words that the Japanese person is singing so when the Japanese person says dimasen uh, that's sort of when he'll open his hand mouths and then on eight this is where Han says what and so then they're going to prepare to go to the chorus so basically the right foot is going to step forward and then the body is going to turn around and sort of face the left side and then your right hand is going to come to your waist and the left hand is just behind your body. And then finally for this move, the head will also turn to look at the back. So let's just review that very first A count. This is right before the chorus. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, like that. And then moving into the chorus, now we're going to be following Lino for most of this chorus. And so this is uh, where they say all in. Okay, so for all, starting on beat one, you want to turn back and look at the front. And then the feet, so your right, right foot is still in the front, and you kind of lean onto your um, right foot, and you're going to have your body angled sort of down like this. So the right shoulder is more towards the front. And as they do that, they're going to do four steps. So when they step with the right foot, um, basically they're going to step and then pivot so that their right knee turns more to the left. So it's going to go one and two and three and four. Okay. And so while they do this, what I would recommend is being more on the toe of your right foot so that you can pivot like that. Okay. And then while they do those four steps for the arms, our arms are going to be in fists and they're going to raise up gradually with each hit. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, like that. So it starts slower and then ends up uh, higher on your chest or on your shoulder area. So altogether, that move looks like one, two, three, four, okay, like that. And that's this is where they're saying all. And then on in, on count five, then we're going to change formations. And for Lino, he's going to... Um, step so that his left foot is in the back and his right foot is actually going to be stepping on Han's thigh because Han is making like a, a stool for him. So he has his right foot elevated like this but for, for us we'll just have our right foot standing uh, like this. So you can just kind of get into formation and just jump back left right like this. And then on count six then Lino is going to uh, make a gun towards the front. And while he does this gun motion, the other members, they, what they're doing is they're covering their ears. But we'll follow Lino for the section. So six, he makes a gun. Your right hand is towards the front. And then your left hand is kind of more closer to your body, holding it like this, okay? And then also while he's holding the gun, he's going to tilt his head slightly to the left. This is six. On seven, your right hand is going to cock the gun. So it goes in and then out. And then on eight, it's going to shoot the gun upwards. So shoot, and then the gun will move up, and your head will kind of look up as well. 
So let's review that first A count. So again, after we do what here on eight, then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then after we shoot the gun up, then on one, our feet are going to jump um, super wide. So we're going to jump out so they're very wide, and then our hands will go down and get ready for the next movement of the hands. So I'll explain the legs first for this. So after we jump out, then what they're going to do is they're going to kick on the offbeats. For this part, it's sort of hard to tell because in the dance practice, they kick on the offbeats, and then in the music video, they kick on the onbeats. But it seems like, just based on the counting and the timing, it seems like it is more of the offbeat rhythm that they do in the dance practice, so that's what we'll be following for now, but it was a little bit hard to tell. And so after we jump here on one, and then on one hand, our right foot is going to kick out. So it's going to kick out like this, and, and as we do that, the left knee will kind of spill in. So basically, instead of like just raising it up, you kind of shift your weight onto your left foot, and then uh, pivot your left foot so that it's facing more towards the right. So it's kind of like this, and then kick, and then on two, all right, foot steps down, and then we do the same thing to the left side. So two, two, and. Okay, so basically you're alternating kicking, stepping down, to kicking, stepping down, and you kind of shift your weight between uh, the different sides. And so what the feet are doing in that kicking movement, for the arms now, so on one, the arms are going to kind of go down here, so they're more towards the down direction, and then the hands are out. And then on one hand, you're going to bring your hands into fists and raise your hands up to the left side. So basically it raises up like this, so your left elbow is out, and then your both of your hands are more towards the left side. So it's kind of like a box almost. And then on two, two and, we re repeat that going to the right side. So two, two and. Okay, so basically it's just one and two and three and four and. Okay, so you just alternate the different sides. And then, so putting that, putting the arms and the legs together, then it's going to be one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so very slowly that's sort of the rhythm for that, and then as, and for this part as it goes faster, it's a little easier to match the arms and legs together. So we did those four counts, the sort of kicking part. So at five, our left foot will step down, five and, our right foot will kick out. And then our arms, instead of Instead of going down to do another one of these motions, then it's going to kind of be more um, out like this as a transition move. So from here, we just kind of put our arms down like this, kind of like a scarecrow. So on five, we are go out like this. Five and, we rotate in. And then on six, we'll hit our waist with our fists. And then on six, our right foot will step down. And then on six and, instead of kicking, we're going to raise our left foot to the back. And then for this leg kick on six and some members, they still just do the regular leg kick out. So you can do either one, uh, but I think it's a little bit more natural to kick your leg back for this part. And then our right hand is going to go out to the upper right side, kind of pointing down with your finger um, like this. Then on seven, our left foot is going to step down. And then on seven, eight, our right arm is going to gesture towards the left twice. So seven, eight. So let's review just the legs for that part, since the legs can be a little hard to explain, so it may be easier to just show it. So after the jump, it's going to be one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Okay. So just the arms there, it looks like one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Okay, so let's do the arms and the legs together. So from the gunshot part, it'll be gunshot, eight, and then one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and 
6 and 7, 8. So that's actually the first half of the chorus, so let's go ahead and just review everything that we learned so far, slowly with counts. So from the Japanese speaking part before the chorus, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, 8. Okay, and then so moving on, there's actually not too many moves left. So after this, then this is Lino's solo, and so they're going to change formations again. What Lino does is he's going to step into the middle, and so for us we can just do um, left to right, just have our feet together, and then the arms are going to be in fists, slanted on a diagonal like this. And when Lino does this move, he has his head straight up, but some of the other members, they do tilt their head to the left. So either way, so you can choose how you want to do it. So it's going to be one on two, then the right elbow will flip down on two and, then your body will lean forward. And then on three, your arms will flip out. So now your arms are pointing kind of towards the back, but angled downwards. So that was one, two, and three. And those few moves do match the words there. So this matches with Lino says, tere, te, nai, de. Okay, so you can also listen to the words to help with the timing. So after we're here, then on three and four, four and, there's gonna be three hits for the na 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 part. You're gonna raise your right arm, then raise your left, and then right again. And when they raise the arm, they kind of can lead with the elbow and then that kind of makes it like a wiggly motion. So right, left, right. And then as they do this, uh, for Lino, he's going to tilt his head right, left, right as well. So the move kind of looks like three and four and. Okay, and this is still while bending over. And then after that, there's another formation change. Uh, they all move to a different spot. For Lino, what he does, he kind of steps onto his right foot and kind of will kick his left foot forward and then um, bring it back so it's behind his right foot. And then while they change formations, for Lino, when he does the left foot kick, he's going to throw his arms in towards the middle as well. So throw, kick, and then step back with your left foot. So the transition move goes for 5-6, and then on 7 and 8, 8 and, then there's going to be three more hits, the la la la, and so you know, has his hands kind of in his pockets and he's going to do very subtle kind of head bobs left, right, left, kind of like this. So seven and a and. Also for this part, when you know does the head bobbles in the music video, they do a different move where they're using their hand to kind of like do some slaps. But since we're following the dance practice video, this is the choreo that do in the dance practice. So let's review that eight count with counts. So from here, it's going to be one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and. And then after this, then it's going to be the last eight count of the chorus. And for this last section, I'll be following Chan. So what they do is then they take a left foot, step towards the front, and then they do the same movement as before. So, but now we're facing, our body's facing the right side, and our left shoulder is kind of towards the front, and we're raising our arms up like this. And then for Lino, he does do the pivot motion with his left foot again, so he says one, and two, and three, and four, and. For some of the other members, instead of doing the pivot motion, they just step onto the left foot, probably because it's a little less natural to do this motion uh, with your left foot. So what they do is they just step uh, four times with their left foot. So you can also do that too if you want. And this is where they say all in again too. So after they do one, two, three, four, and then the last part of the chorus, so then on five, the right foot is going to come up and step so it's on the same level as the left foot, and their head is going to make a clockwise circle like this. So head will turn to the right and make a circle, 
And then for this part, the members had different levels. So for Li Nao, he's going to stay bent over. But for Chan, who we're following now, he's going to be standing up. And then for the next few steps, the right foot will still keep stepping, kind of like you're starting to make a circle. So you'll step, step, step. So kind of like you're gradually turning around, but you're only moving your right foot. So on six, we take the first step, and our head will finish the circle and look forward. On seven, take another step, and your right hand will go to your left shoulder. And then on eight, take another step, and your right hand will go to your right shoulder. And then that's the end of the chorus. After they do left shoulder, right shoulder, then they do it on a spin to get ready for the next verse. But for us, that'll be the end of the chorus tutorial. So let's see the last eight count, the all-in part. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's put that together with the second half of the chorus, then review everything together. So going from here, it's going to be seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that is it for the chorus. So let's go ahead and do that with counts. Then we'll do that with 80, 90, and 100% speed music. I'll just have to have the music on lower volume because of Japanese copyright laws are a lot more strict. And then unfortunately no final review with just the music. So we will still keep the counting on. And again, because of copyright laws. Okay, so let's do the whole chorus with counts. So from the speaking part before the chorus, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was it for the course for All In. Thank you for learning and watching, and for the next few videos, I'll be trying to make a tutorial for X as well as making the vocal range chart for the In Life album.